Hey everybody, hey guys. we're the nerds and we're here at Dollywood today for the summer celebration. We're going to watch some shows here, we're going to eat some food, and just check out everything that it has to offer for the summer celebration. You ready Steph? I'm ready. Let's check it out. Let's go. The umbrellas are gone, the kites are in. I love the kites, beautiful colors, the neon colors up there for Dollywood's summer celebration. There's the roadside attraction sign there for Kite Sky. Love it to this area. Got the music playing over there as well. The Wild Roots Band is playing right now. Great music for you come to Dollywood. We're back here towards where the tour bus is at, as you can tour. And this is where the new Dolly Parton experience is going to be. Can't wait to see what that looks like. It's going to be a fully immersive Dolly Parton experience. There's our little logo right there. This is right in front of Dolly's closet. And so we're putting our wings on our dreams. There's a look over the fence there. You can already see some of what's going on back there. That's going to be a really cool experience once that's done. There's Dolly's closet right there. And we're heading over towards the Pines Theater. Got a little photo op spot back here in front of the Five and Dime. With the sunflowers and the Dollywood Summer Celebration side again. That's the Hydro Jive Junction. We're here past 4.30, so we just missed it, but they do a whole dance party out right here by this fire hydrant here. You can still see the water from it. So we just missed the show. That's like a little dance party over here by the fire hydrant. So we're inside Pines Theater heading in to watch a show. They got popcorn up there. They got pretzels. All those old posters over here. The Forest Rangers and Zorro, Alamo. This just looks just like a theater. It's so neat in here. And we're going to head this way. Right into the theater here. Just got out of the Dreamland Drive-In Show. Amazing. It's That's, really good. Yeah. If you've really never been to it, check it out. Uh, it's right out here in the Pines Theater, right across from uh, Red's Drive-In. Yeah. But and that show was awesome. Tear up, you guys. I was sitting there tearing up in yeah. Hollywood Theater. It's it got a crazy. great storyline, great acting, great music, just everything. So, yeah. yeah, now I'm ready to eat. <laughs> but yeah, check out the Dreamland Drive-In. You'll enjoy that show for sure. The topiaries are gone, and now they have the fire hoses out. It is hot today, and this this feels good. You can feel some of the mist already hitting you a little bit. There's been kids out here playing. It's been pretty cool. And there's also all the festival foods in this area as well. So we're going to check out the foods here and enjoy the misting fountains. Here's one of the first food booths. The antipasto salad right there. The cucumber tomato salad. We got the paletas right there. And then the blue coconut fresca and the watermelon lime fresca. Coming over to the festival fair area for the food here. There's the hibachi chicken skillet. I'm going to be trying that. There's the pork belly right there. And the quinoa salad, the southern cob salad. And the mountain berry lemonade. That was really good. I think it was last year we had that. Coming to the other side here, they got the potato tornadoes again. They've had last time. So potato tornado, 
the Twisted Dog, Loaded Potato Tornado, and then the Blue Lemonade is back again this year, which that was also really good before as well. Just got our tasting pass for the Summer Celebration 2023 tasting pass. It was $33.99 with the Season Pass discount, came at $37.64 tax. And now we'll get some food real quick and let you know what we think of the food. All right, got our chicken abachi. There it is right there. It's got the chicken teriyaki in there. got the rice in there. got the scallions and everything. So it looks really good. We're going to give that a try and uh, let you know what we think here. That was our first tasting item. I just want to stop and tell you, like, look at the crowd. There's, like, hardly anybody here today. It's a pretty low crowd day right now. This is the weekend after July 4th. They got some good music playing here. And that abachi is pretty good. A little cold, but it's pretty good flavor on it. But it would have been better. It had, great, it had a flavor to it, but... Yeah. Warm, for sure. Look at that. Nobody here but There's us. Nobody <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, it's, besides the heat, it's a great day to be here. Brown Mary, keep on working. Rolling. The help me, the dolly would show here in a minute. They're going to sign me on a contract, I'm telling y'all. Heading over to our next food booth. Look all the trees wrapped here. Just, it's a great summer vibe out here. Dollywood's a vibe, Stephanie. And here's the next food items. Spicy black bean nachos, loaded chicken nachos, ultimate pork rind nachos, and the boba peach tea. Then they go for the pork rind nachos. Never heard of pork rind nachos before, and definitely go for the chicken nachos. What do you think, Steph? <laughs> Dollywood's a vibe? It's a vibe. <laughs> I don't like um, pork, pork rinds. rinds. I don't like well, pork rinds, rinds either, but I think I have to try them. I've just never heard of pork rind nachos. They have to go for it and go for those. No olives, though. They just go from one nacho for now. All right, we got two kinds of nachos. So we were thinking about the chicken nachos. We ended up dealing with the spicy black bean nachos, which actually look really good. And then we also got the pork rind nachos with the barbacoa on it. We're not a huge fan of pork rinds, but I never heard of pork rind nachos, so I have to give that a try. But look at these. Both of these look really well done. So we're going to dig mine. in. Hey, 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 hey. The black bean ones are mine. I don't want those pork rinds. <laughs> you got to try the beef on it, though. I but, need a fork. All right, so we're going to dig into both of these, and we'll let you know in a minute. Is that my setup? <laughs> That's Stephanie's setup there. She's got the fan going, got her drink there. She's all ready to go. I propped it up so I can eat. <laughs> Digging into the nachos now, and they're both pretty good. Uh, we tried pork rinds again for the first time in a long time at West by God. You did. And that was one of the first ones. Yeah, Stephanie tried. It was one of the first ones I actually liked. I'm not a pork rind person though, but I just want to try these pork rind nachos. And um, pork rinds, just okay. The barbacoa on top, fantastic. The cheese is fantastic. The jalapenos are good and spicy. Now, it's definitely the spicy black bean ones. Those are fantastic. The spicy black bean ones are really good. And actually what I did is combine the barbacoa beef onto some of the nacho chips with the spicy black bean. That's the way to go right there. That was good. So kind of a combination of those mixed. Oh, there's Stephanie. They're delicious. <laughs> yeah. So. I definitely recommend the spicy black beans. If you're a huge pork friend, Ryan fan, I would say probably go for those. We're not. I just want to try that unique uh, mixture. I've never heard of a pork rind nacho before. Um, but those spicy black beans is where it's at so far. That's really good. And chicken teriyaki was a good start. So two pretty good ones. And uh, I think there's like a big barbecue sandwich we're going to try here in a little bit. And also, I think they have an open face grilled cheese again this year. So looking forward to that. But already getting full. <laughs> so we, uh, we split this is our dinner every time we come and I know sometimes people say the tasting passes are a little expensive and things like that but really like you do like what we're doing with two people splitting it for 35 37 dollars you get five different types of meal or five different types of food to split between y'all five items it's really a good price for what you're getting in any restaurant you go to in the area for two people for us it's usually it's 50 bucks so it's a pretty good deal but that being said we're gonna finish up this right here see what other food we can find uh we'll be looking for that open face grilled cheese. It's a hot day, water rides are great, and so are sprayers that spray people. <laughs> Why do we enjoy this so much, Steph? Oh, I know. This sprayer right here on the end is the best one. You got the four sprayers all through here, but this one in here is the strongest, and it's aimed like right towards like the face level. Uh, so it usually gets people pretty good. Oh, it died down right before they got there. We've come across one of the roadside attractions here, the largest bean can. Granny Ogles brand Pinto beans. I think it was Bush's last year if I remember correctly, but it's been changed over to Granny Ogles now. But it's one of the roadside attractions right there. Bean park ducks. We got a whole family of them out here. All the little babies and everything. So cool. We are waiting in line for the train now. 
it's gonna be a full train, but look back here, no one's in line. It's been a pretty empty day so far at the park. But I'm about to board here in a few minutes. summer celebration items they have here. There's the open face grilled cheese. That just sounds really good. If I get one of those, they got the anti-pasto salad here here as well. And then the southern cob salad. Three good salad options. That being one that we're gonna get. And the park is still pretty much empty. It's people here but it's just really light crowds today. We just got that train, love to do that train ride every time and time to go on the Iron Horse. And get our food. Alrighty, we got the open face grilled cheese from Iron Horse here. Looks fantastic. It's got a lot of cheese on it. Yeah, it just looks really good right there. This is the gazpacho, I think it is. Gazpacho, tomato sauce. Kind of a small little container for it, but all in all, looks good. Let you know in a minute what we think. Alright, so this now getting into this uh, open face grilled cheese. The gazpacho or gazpacho, how you pronounce it, is a no go for me. Uh, this thing here though is fantastic. It's just loaded up with tons of cheese. It's almost like a cheese overload, but it's so good. This is one of my favorite items here. I love this. But no one the gazpacho. Yes, on open face grilled cheese. I get that every time. Really good. We have made it to Miss Lillian's now. We do have one scan left. I think we're going to save our last scan for tomorrow. We are just full. Big portions again this year. But here's what they have for the summer celebration. Three Little Pigs sandwich, which sounds really good. You get the whole pork shoulder. shoulder smoked sausage and the pork point on there. Pork belly on a stick. Had that last year and we didn't like it at all. And then they got the southern fried corn down here. But that sandwich, that just sounds good. But I think we're gonna save our scan for tomorrow. We're gonna come here tomorrow for the uh, character breakfast and um, maybe hang out in the park for a little bit in the morning time. And so maybe we'll use our scan then. Oh, look, Stephanie, what do you see? Oh, the owl. Yeah, look at that, grist mill, no line right now. And then right over here, one of our favorite events out there at Christmas, Great Pumpkin Luminites. September 20th through October 30th. Look at the owl. Oh yeah. I love that owl. Love that time of year. And then one of our favorite photos we always take and look at is right here. The grist mill has no line. You can walk in right now, get some cinnamon bread. Enjoy the view for a few minutes while we head up the hill here. Time for a little pro tip. When it's <laughs> hot outside like it is today, summer celebration, come into the Christmas store. The Christmas shop is always ice cold. Tons of cool Christmas decorations to look at, but it's like an ice bucket in here, which we love with the cold weather. But every time the store is freezing in here, which is fantastic. So let's come here for a little bit, hang out, get cool. And yeah, look at all the Christmas decorations. So, a little pro tip, come to the Christmas shop and cool off. Up here by Blazing Fury, the next roadside attraction. Bunch of rocking chairs here and a shaded area, which is pretty nice on the hot day today. A bunch of the wooden rockers, shade, can't beat it. And then, go this way, the noodle takeover. Heading to the noodle takeover now. We have the poison noodles hanging up above. We saw a glimpse of these last time we were here for the uh, Flower and Food Festival. We came right at the end of that festival, got to see them. This area right here is one of the coolest areas in the uh, Halloween event. They have fog in the area. <laughs> and they have the storm too, didn't they? Yeah, uh, for Christmas, at like the winter storm. But now we got the pool noodles, which is awesome. Heading up to the recharge station, the foam pit area, we got the Dollywood Summer Celebration sign. Dollywood Adventure, fun ahead. All right, we just took a nice break in the recharge area. They have all these nice fans out here. So you can sit down and cool off. This is the foam pit they have for the kids. They have one for the big kids, and I think they have one for just the small kids. The nice fountain there. It's from 12 to 6, so we missed that. It's already 8.50. We're about to go over and see the dance party and some fireworks. <laughs> I love that fountain every time. Look at the big duck. There's the 
duck. Steph, what'd you think? I loved it. They changed some of the drone show up, it looks like. Some of those were new. Yeah, I think they said 70% new drone show. Yeah. Uh, fireworks are amazing. You can see the crowd. Everybody's letting out. It was a pretty slow day here in the park until now. <laughs> so everybody yeah, we congregated we yep, over here. But we're going to head out here in a minute. But it was an awesome show again this year. Yeah, and we'll, I guess we'll go ahead and end this video here. Well, I guess we can, yeah. So uh, appreciate y'all watching. It's been an amazing show again. Amazing time here. Yeah. Check it out. At the uh, Dreamland Theater show was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. And we try to tell you, we don't ride many rides. He's afraid of heights. I don't like, I'm claustrophobic. So we try to show things that you can do at the park without riding the big ride. Yeah. So we hope our video helped you a little bit. We had a lot of fun today. Appreciate everybody watching. It means more to us than you know. Yep. Happy 4th a couple days ago. It's happy 4th July. Have a happy summer, everybody. Stay cool. This show is cool. I'm cool. Stephanie's cool. Y'all are cool. I'm super cool. My cool jokes are running out. All right. We'll Appreciate see you later. it. Bye, everybody.